like, and share. Episode 1, St. Febronius Faith, a Brave Martyr Once upon a time, in a land far away, there lived four brave and devoted brothers named Maximus, Nemitius, Victor, Bacter, and Philip, Philopus. These brothers were not related by blood, but their love for each other and their unwavering faith in Christ made them true brothers in spirit. Once upon a time, in a faraway land called Uriana, there lived a brave and kind-hearted girl named Febronia. She was the niece of the wise and loving superior of a convent that was home to fifty special young women called virgins. Febronia's aunt taught her many things, especially about the love of God and the importance of reading the holy books. As Febronia grew older, she made a special promise to serve the Lord Christ with all her heart. She fought the good fight by practicing asceticism, which means living a simple and disciplined life. Febronia would fast for two days at a time and spend lots of time in prayer, always talking to God and asking for His guidance. But one day, something terrible happened. The powerful Emperor Diocletian declared that everyone must worship idols. Many Christians were being hurt and even killed because they refused to bow down to these false gods. When the other virgins in the convent heard about this, they were scared and ran away to hide. Only Febronia, her aunt, and one other sister remained. The very next day, the emperor's messengers arrived at the convent. They captured Febronia's aunt and treated her very poorly. Febronia, filled with courage and love, said to them, Please, take me instead and let this old woman go free. But the messengers didn't listen. They tied Febronia up with ropes and brought both her and her aunt to the governor. Febronia was only 20 years old at that time, and she was known for her beauty. The governor tried to persuade her to worship the idols, promising her many things in return. But Febronia stayed strong and refused to betray her faith. The governor became angry and ordered his soldiers to beat her with rods and tear her dress into pieces. Febronia's aunt couldn't bear to see her niece in pain, so she cried out to the governor, May God punish you, you wild beast! How dare you try to shame this young and innocent girl! The governor grew even angrier and commanded his soldiers to torture Febronia more. They tied her to a big wheel and squeezed it, causing her immense pain. They even combed her body with an iron comb, which tore her flesh and made her suffer greatly. Throughout all the terrible things happening to her, Febronia didn't lose hope. She prayed to the Lord, asking for strength and comfort. The governor, wanting to silence her prayers, cut out Febronia's tongue and smashed her teeth so that she couldn't speak or pray anymore. But even without words, Febronia's faith remained strong, and the Lord continued to support her. Finally, the governor ordered Febronia's head to be cut off, and she became a martyr for her beliefs. A righteous man who admired Febronia took her body and wrapped it in expensive shrouds. He placed her in a beautiful golden box, showing respect for the brave young girl who had given her life for her faith. Febronia's story teaches us about courage, faith, and the importance of staying true to what we believe in, no matter what challenges we face. Even though she was young, Febronia showed incredible strength and stood up for what was right. Her memory lives on as an inspiration to people of all ages, reminding us to be brave and follow our hearts, just like she did. See you again soon. Subscribe, like, and share.